For this third tutorial, we're going to um, have a uh, look at the text tool. So if I come down here, there's the T. Um, I'm just clicking where I want, and I'm going to write some nice name, J, J Z. There we go. To, to change this, I'm just going to highlight it, and at the top we've got the usual sort of you know tools we'd expect. So I'm actually going to change this to this text here. You can change the colour here if you like. We're going to stick with uh, white. See the usual tools of size that we use that we usually see. A little bit smaller. This is kind of cool, I suppose. You can change the style of the text. Um, useful stuff. If you want it, I'm just going to stick with with normal. And there we go. So I can now move this around, and it's subject to anything that I want to change it to, just like um, any of the, the the images that I've used. What I am going to do is I'm going to, at the top. I'm going to go to layer, and then layer style, and choose blending options. And this is basically the same sort of things we did with um, with Jay Z before when we put the glow around him. But I can now add a stroke around the side. Let me just click on the stroke bit. And there we go. So you can change the size of that if you want. It's kind of nice when you've you want it to stand out a little bit against the background. Um, put a little border around it. Down the bottom here, I like click on that. You can drop a shadow. So you can change the shadow distance there, the spread, the size. You know, you can go through and we've got the angle here as well. Let's just make that a little bit. And it's just nice to to make things stand out. Of course, we've got all the other things here, like we've got a glow, if we want to have a glow on there. Um, you know, you can change the glow if you want. Um, as you can see it changing at the top there. Um, but I'm just going to stick, I'll get rid of that outer glow, I'm just going to stick with Jay-Z and we've got the drop shadow there. I'm going to add some more text. Now, one of his, well, one of my personal favourite songs is called Renegade. So let's... Problems there. Let's just call it that. Colours album that. So I'm going to go up to the top, Arial, and I've got another uh, font that I'm going to use. I'm just going to try and find it. Where are you? Ah, here it is. Van Gothic. There we go. Of course, you've got the opacity down here. Um, again, you can go to layer, layer style, blending options, and I can just put a stroke around there. Automatically makes it stand out a little bit more. Drop shadow. Um, you know, you've got all these different blending options that you can use if you want. It doesn't seem to do much. Um, so whatever it is that you, that looks. That was quite cool. Um, let's just stick with the normal. What to do? You know that you've got quite a lot of freedom um, over the text there as well. Um, so there we go. Uh, really, really straightforward. You know, experiment. Give it a go um, and see what you can come up with.